Shalom, Bruhima Baim, welcome to this video. Last week I got a message from Alexandro, and Alexandro asked me, why is the future tense not consistent in Pa'al? Why is it that there is Ani Esgor, I will close, but Ani Elmad, and not Ani Elmod, I will learn, even though there is no guttural letter. Why is there no Vav? In this video, we will have a look at that. What is it with the future tense and Pa'al? Let's have a look. So, in order to give you the answer to that question, we will first have a look at the general rule for the future tense in Pa'al, then what is the change for what he mentioned with the guttural letters, what does that mean? And then, when we know what the general rule is, what happens with guttural letters, then we can answer the question, so why are we using this even though there is no guttural letter? It's super interesting. We start. So, let's first see that we all know the general rule of the future tense in Pa'al. When you have an infinitive that generally looks like this, and we are talking about really regular verbs, Lamed in front, Vav between the second and the third letter, then if you want to form the future tense of the third person masculine singular, what you do is you drop the Lamed and you replace it with a Yud. That's what you do to come to the future tense. For example, this is how you come from Lisgor to close to Hu Yisgor. Here again, Lisgor Hu Yisgor. He will close. And if I want to say I will close, then it is Ani Esgor. Okay, so that is the general rule how we make a future tense in Pa'al, generally speaking. Now, let's have a look. Ani Esgor, I will close as an example for all regular Pa'al verbs. That is the reason why the future tense general rule is also um, called the F all rule. E O. Right? These are here the vowels. E O. S go. F all. That comes from this year in Hebrew. F all. Okay, so here you see pay ein lamet that represents. A root that doesn't have anything to do necessarily with pa'al, but it represents a root, and then aleph in front and vav between the second and the third letter, and we come to i and the verb in the future tense. So this is the F all rule. Okay? Now, if we take another pa'al verb that until now looked very regular, lil mod, to learn. And now I want to say he will learn. It's not who yilmod, it's who yilmad. And it is ani elmad. Well, that is very different from what I just taught you. This is definitely not the general rule and not f all. Right? Right. By the way, Make sure you stay until the end of this video, because at the end I will tell you where to download the PDF with these rules from this video. Okay, now, these here are guttural letters, and guttural letters were mentioned in the question of Alexandro, and these guttural letters in the roots greatly influence the conjugation pattern of the future tense. Yes, I know, Lilmot didn't have it, and to that we come at the end. So, these are called the guttural letters, and if one of those letters is on the second or third root position of a pa'al verb, the future tense is not conjugated as in f all. This is the rule, okay? So, for example, lid ok, to worry. Here you have aleph on the second root position. That's why here on the right side I put you number two, okay? Hu yid ag. Ani ed ag. With hey, the same. Lin hog. Hu yin hag. 
אני אנהג. לצחוק, to laugh, חט on the second root position. הוא יצחק, אני אצחק, I will laugh. And the last one, אין, to shout, לצעוק, הוא יצעק, he will shout. אני אצעק. So you see this is not F all, but the reason is that we have one of those gatra letters on the second root position. Now we move on to the third root position. Spoiler alert, it does exactly the same like the second root position. So we have the exact same conjugation pattern with A and not with O. And that is the reason these are called F all verbs. And the others, those general ones, were called F all verbs. F all. That's what you have seen. There is no vav here. You see that there is no vav. It was et's. Hag, en hag. Exactly that. Ani et ak. And f ol. Ani eg mor. So this is how we conjugate, right? So, okay, granted, when we have one of those letters on the third root position, it is f al, not f ol. Hey on the third root position. Now, that is really critical because you might know lamet hey verbs. Lamet hey verbs are those. Uh, roots that end on hey, everything changes with them already at the infinitive. So they have an own rule, which basically goes like this. You take the root, not the infinitive, you take the root, it's very important, and you put a yud in front to get to the third person masculine singular. For example, this is the, the root, and then you come to hu yikne. He will buy. Hu yikne. So they have also their own future pattern, Lamet Hey verbs. But they are not the main uh, um, hero of this video. We keep going with the others. Chet on the th uh, third root position. Lismoach, to be happy. Hu yismach. He will be happy. I will be happy. Ani esmach. No vav here. F al, not F ol. Ein, lishmoa, to hear. He will hear. Hu yishma. I will hear. Ani eshma. So these gutter letters, when you find them on the second or third root position, except for the lamet hey, yeah, then we call these verbs f al verbs, and the others are f all verbs. This is the influence of guttural letters on the future tense conjugation pattern. So, we are coming back. We have now seen the general rule and we have seen the rule for guttural letters. Now, what was Alexandru's question? Why Lil Mod is using that future tense of guttural letters? There is no guttural letter in Lil Mod. Right. There are verbs that use certain conjugations even though they are not in that category. These are the truly irregular verbs. What we call in general uh, regular verbs in Hebrew are the ones that do not follow the general rule that would already be um, also the guttural letters. But these are the truly irregular verbs. They do not belong to any of the categories, but they chose to use that conjugation pattern. And how can you know? Well, guys, the Shmuel Bolozgi. Shmuel Bolozgi says it. When you look it up, Lil Mod in the Shmuel Bolozgi, well, here's what Shmuel says about it. Gizra F Al, not F Ol, F Al. And that is the reason. So, that is the answer. Alexandro, I hope this was a satisfying answer for you and I hope also for everybody else. And um, yeah, send me your questions. There she got. Shalom. <laughs>